Now that's the first boundary of the day. Ace Cricket Club versus Just Cricket. Just Cricket have won the toss and have elected to back first. The first two balls, some respect shown to the left armour, but the third ball was dispatched for a boundary. Just Cricket have won the toss and have decided to back first. And the ideas are clear, the intentions are clear, just to go for the shots. Again, this would be a very high scoring encounter. Some big hitters in the team. The score is four. Mehul is a pretty decent bowler. He keeps the ball straight. Uh, that's played on the up, straight to the fielder. That's what is his USP. He just keeps the ball in the right areas, does not try to do too many things. Very rarely have you seen the spinners starting uh, in the limited overs. Deepak Patel was the first one to do it in the World Cup in the 1992s, of course, and was very successful. This is good bowling. So the story of the innings have so far has been four dot deliveries and a boundary lays in between it. Let's see whether the last ball is dispatched for a boundary. I think uh, he would just go for the big one. No, instead he gives respect to the bowler. The score at the end of over number one is four without loss. Both Rajesh and Rishi still there. Rajesh playing on four. Rishi yet to face the ball. Yes, spin from one end and uh, pace from another. One very good spinner who keeps the ball within the stumps, does not try to do much. Another one, a tear away pace ball, one of the quickest in the tournament and uh, known to take quick wickets. So that's what the strategy is going to be of ace cricket. So that's the strategy of just cricket. Spin from one end and uh, tear away praise from the another. Then Vikas thinks bowling strategy is just to bowl quick. Rishi Pillani will face the first ball of the second over. So, after a brief delay, we are back live again. That's nicely done on the up straight to the fielder. So, two left armors to begin the proceedings. One a medium pacer, another one a spinner. Very rarely do we see the left armors going round the wicket from ball one. The way I look at him is he just comes in. Gets wide of the crease and tries to push the ball in. Ace Cricket Club, four runs. Rishi. Oh, that's an opportunity taken. The idea was right. There was width. Actually, a little too bit close for him to cut. 
So first wicket for Vikas. He's known for picking up wickets and he has done exactly that. First wicket. Rishi gets out without opening the account. That's a very important wicket he gets out. So 4 for 1. Ace Cricket Club. They lose their first man. Zooters presents 40 plus 2.0 on this wonderful grounds of Somaya. Some great cricketing talent. Uh, the age may not be on their side, but the fitness level, the talent, the zeal for the game, as good as anyone around. These are some top players competing against each other. So 4 is what the score is on which the first wicket of the Ace Cricket Club falls. A very good batsman, Rishi Pilani, got out without opening the account. The ball, the width was there. But the height making the difference over there. Vikas Singh, who is known for picking up wickets, does exactly that in his very second ball of the first over. Zutos presents 40 plus 2.0 on a very, very special day of today's. Oh, that's a chance to and this will race away fantastic work over there the fielder in the third man region absolute gold dust over there that's good quality cricket good bowling the batsman took a chance on the very first ball and the fielding in the third man region was also good so the score moves on to five now rajesh comes back on strike Bekar Singh is known to take wickets in one of the previous tournaments. He took three wickets in an over. So a lot would be expected of him and he's delivering. He has delivered in fact wicket of the second ball which he bowled and of the third ball almost if they had that second slip which wasn't existent over there they could have got a second wicket. Oh he is bowling uh, with a lot of vigor, a lot of enthusiasm. The score's 5-5 five, five for 1. Rajesh Menon and Niket. Oh, that's beautifully bowled and fantastically fielded. Running between the wicket, exemplary. So all good things coming together. Good bowling that was nicely played, well fielded and uh, running between the wickets, better than that. So some quality stuff over here. Some top class cricketing display new man comes back on strike Niket has made it intentions clear if there is width on offer he's going to go for it the very first ball which he faced that was a streakish single which he got I think he would just go for his shots that's what the, the strategy is going to be for them 6 for 1 is what the score is that is beautifully bold what a good over this has been uh, he has given just a couple of runs and has picked up the opening batsman. Six runs for the loss of one wicket at the end of over number two.
Oh, that's a fantastic hit. That's going into the cow corner region for a one bounce boundary. Just waited. Just gave respect to the bowler on the very first ball which he bowled. And uh, when the ball was placed in his half, the first ball of the third over is dispatched for a fantastic boundary. That's the first shot which has been uh, muscled. Actually, the previous shot was just placed. So, so first shot of aggression by Rajesh. Oh, that was nicely picked. So, Behul's first over just cost him four runs. But the very first ball of the second over has been dispatched for a boundary. So, two left armors. Oh, that's on the rise straight to the fielder. Slightly 4 2 2 as the ballers. The ball was pitched up. It was a low full toss. But hit straight to the fielder over there. Anything towards his right or left would have faced him four runs. And I think he would go the same direction again into the cow corner region. The score is 10. Rajesh on strike. Oh, that's nicely bowled. Keeping the ball outside the off stump. Not allowing him the leverage to go big. Oh, that's on the leg side. We'll wait for the umpire signal. Umpire says that's the first extra of the innings. The score moves on to 11 now. 11 for 1. 1, 1, 1. 11 for 1. That's what the number suggests over there. That's nicely bowled. So after being hit for a boundary of the very first ball, the next few balls have been right on spot. So boundary and a wide in this over. Will Rajesh go big again? I think he would. Yes, he does. But straight to the fielder again. They have made that adjustment. They got the fielder over there in the cow corner region. Remember, the power play is going to be the first four overs. Then those two overs. Those. Oh, nicely bowled. That remained a little low. So three overs, 11 runs for the loss of one wicket. Just five in this over. So Mehul, two overs and nine runs. Oh, that was just close to being his second wicket. Fortunately for him, the ball was just short of him. Just go there, do some gardening over there. The ball just stopped. That's a very, very good wicket, basic generally. And it doesn't happen that much. This time, the ball just held on to the wicket. And uh, it did not come to the bat that quickly. That becomes an issue when uh, there is two pace. This is a very good wicket. Generally, you get a lot of value for your shots due to this far. Oh, that's wonderfully played. That was chancy. That was there to be caught. But that's the way you should be playing. You, when the width is on offer, when you have the time and place to hit the ball, go for it. That's what the batsman exactly did. Yes, it was little for two to us. Yes, it was little chancy. Doesn't matter. You need to take these chances. That went like a rate of knots over there. That was very quick before even the fielder could anticipate that and get hold, hold on of that one. Just pierced his hands and went for a wonderful boundary.
Yes, Niket on strike again. Oh, this is what Niket does. He is just very, very positive. That's a wonderful shot. That's not an easy shot to play. Up and over into the covers. That's one of the best shots to play. And very rarely do we find Surya Kumar Yadav of Mumbai. Surya Kumar Yadav of the Indian cricket team is one of the best exponents of these shots. And this was no footwork. This wasn't like leaning forward or playing that. This was just hammered into the covers. Hitting the shot up and over into the covers. A lofted six is always graceful to watch. But this was just butchered over there. And the expected reply to this is opportunity. Oh my God. The idea was right. The execution water. That's a big wicket. Vikas Singh gets his man. He looked in so good. He gets out. Second wicket down. That's an important wicket. The man was looking very positive. Gets out in the process to pull a ball towards the mid-wicket region. Second wicket down. Niket has to come back. Two wickets to Vikas. So Rajesh Manan comes on strike because the batsmen have crossed when the ball was in air. 21 for 2 is what the score is. Vikas Singh getting those two crucial wickets. Oh, that's down the leg side. Just as I was appreciating his good bowling, he bowls a wide ball. The score is 22. Vikas Singh providing that uh, impetus in the bowling. He is the one who has uh, been the difference between the two teams. He had no clue about it. He absolutely had no clue about it, where the ball was going. Straight to the fielder for a single. The score at the end of over number 4 is 23 for the loss of 2 wickets. The opening batsman, Rajesh Pilani is back. So is the one down batsman, Niket. Rajesh. So two wickets, I beg your pardon, that was Rishi Pilani, not Rajesh Pilani. Just makes the two batsmen. Rajesh Menon is still there. And uh, Niket caught out. 
Niket was looking so very enterprising for this very brief stay. He was looking in good touch. Unfortunately, lost his wicket. But that's a good start for Just Cricket. They would be very, very happy because two good batsmen are back in hut. Rishi Pilani got out without scoring and also batsman was looking really good who just scored 10 runs in two balls. He went for third one in a row. Probably that was the place where he went wrong. He got out Niket after a bright start. It was a chancy innings. The first boundary was slightly for two twists. Then again, uh, the six over extra cover was fantastic. But then he went for the third one in a row, which was his undoing. So the score is 23 for 2. That's what the score reads now. Four overs, 23 runs for the loss of two wickets. Another field would open up because this two overs of power play would be taking ag again, actually, the power surge overs, they call. They can be taken in the latter half of the innings. There is where this game changes over there. Just like we had in the Australian Big Bash tournament, we have these two overs which would be taken in the latter half of the innings. So Ace Cricket Club, it's a unique scoreboard. It says 23 for 2. It was 11 for 1. Then we have 23 for 2. At one time it read 22 for 2. So 4 overs done and dusted. 23 for 2. We'll change ends. Left armor. MS Manish Solanki comes into ball. The 5th over. Oh, that's nicely done. Will it go all the way? The fielder is stationed over there. He does a good job over there. So Vishal doing a good job over there in the deep square leg. Just for a single, the score moves on to two dozens now. 24 for 2. The ball just speeds away on this wonderful outfield. Fielders need to be extra alert. Ankit Jain comes on strike for the very first time. Rajesh has had two boundaries but has consumed a lot of deliveries. That's an issue. But that's down the leg side. Yes, the umpire signal. This would be the second wide of the innings. Third wide, in fact. Vikas has bowled one. Uh, the left armor Mehul bowled one wide. And the third bowler who was introduced, he also bowls a wide. So far, it has been very disciplined bowling effort. Oh, that's a leading edge. Well short of the fielder over there in short extra cover. So with this single, the score moves on to 25 now. 26. 26 for 2. Rajesh comes back on strike. He will have to get a move on. That's what he tries to do. Some good bowling, some discipline rolling. Rajesh Menon has not been allowed to open his shoulders. But I think uh, he's getting a little jittery over there. He would go for his big shots now. He's consumed a lot of deliveries. You might just see him going for those big ones. That's what he has done. It That's good work by the fielder over there. In the long off region. Just for a single. Ankit comes back on strike. It's a unique kind of bowling actually. He takes a few steps, stutters, stops and then he delivers. The score at the end of over number 5 is 27 for the loss of 2 wickets. Just 4 runs in this over. Four, 3 singles and a wide. 5 overs, 27 runs and 2 wicket. Ace Cricket Club, they need to get a move on now.
Meanwhile, this man continues to bowl. Change of ends for him. Uh, but he is the one who has made all the difference. Picked up those two crucial wickets. Especially of Niket who was going so well. 5 balls, 11 runs. A short brief cameo but that was entertaining. They need a spark like Niket again. Someone has to take that scoring ahead. Won't be that easy now because the field is widespread now. And the fielders are immaculately placed. The field placements have been very good. But this is nicely done using the soft hand. The ball just turned away towards the square leg region for a single. The score moves on to 28 now. 28 runs on the scorecard for the loss of two wickets. The opening batsman and the one down batsman are back in hut. But others, they will have to take the responsibility. They have a different strategy now. They would just like to get through Vikas's overs. And they would like to target the bowlers who may be relatively not that good as Vikas. Vikas has been brilliant today. Oh, that is what I was talking about. Not the first, not the second. This is the third. That was a peach of a delivery. I think that must have pitched on the leg stump and it has taken the middle stump. That was a beauty. So, three wickets for this left-hander in all three different ways. First, caught behind. Then, a pull shot which got big on the batsman. And this one, a dream wicket for any left-armer who tries to take the ball away. That is some great bowling. Just have a look at the replay and we'll understand... Uh, what kind of delivery it was. And that was indeed a sight to watch. Because his name suggests something which we call for development. Something which we call for going ahead. And this team has gone ahead and taken some giant strides. And taking a firm control over this match. Because three wickets of top four batsmen will always put you into trouble. It is always said when you lose more than 3 or 4 wickets in the first 6 overs, 90% of the times, in fact not 90, may 60 to 70% of the times you are on a losing side. But things can change. Things do change because these guys are real, real tough cricketers. Even batsman number 7, 8 can make a difference. And this guy, as the scorer suggests, in one of the matches, this guy again took three wickets and all three, he had disturbed the furniture. Vikas Singh, he hasn't got three bowled outs today. He hasn't got that furniture disturbed thrice. But he has taken three wickets. One caught behind, one caught in the mid wicket and this one, the best of the lot. Vikas Singh continuing with this good over. Every over this guy has got a wicket. Oh, almost a fourth one. How did that miss? How did that miss? This boy, bowler is not aiming for the off stump. He is not aiming for the leg stump. He is aiming for middle of middle. That's what he's trying to do. He is trying to bowl it straight. Keeping it straight and simple. Vikas Singh, just look at him. He is... Good to go for a few more overs even. He looks very fresh. Three wickets for the left armor. Oh, what a shot. That's a gorgeous shot. Just shot of the fielder over there. And good work. Good work. The ball was on the rise and nicely fielded over there. What a good shot that was. Nicely done. Beautiful swing of the bat. Anything towards like few meters towards the right. That would have been one bounce boundary. That's a good start for the batsman. But beautifully turned towards the fielder over there. Almost all good shots are going directly to the fielder. That's the problem with the batting side of Ace. When things are not going your way, they don't go your way at all. What a good shot that was again, but straight to the fielder again. These guys are playing some good cricketing shots. But against Vikas, who has been in red-hot form, he's bowling some pearlers. Today's day, not that hot. But humidity, it has been a big factor. So hot and humid day, it's a twilight time and Vikas Singh is making full use of the conditions over there. Will he get his fourth wicket or will he be dispatched for a boundary? Oh, that's nicely bowled. This guy is bowling one of the best spells of the tournament. Vikas, three overs, 
15 runs and he has got not one, not two, but three wickets. One in every over. That's nicely tucked away. Just for a single, they need this. Oh, that's it. Straight down. A oh, good work. Fantastic work, in fact. Putting the body on line. That was it very hard. So good work by the fielder, the boundary rider. Jitendra doing a good job over there. Scores 31. And I think uh, they would be going for the shots now. That is beautifully bowled again. Manish Solanki, a very different bowling style he has, just stops stutters and cramps the batsman. Absolutely no room for him to go for those shots. Well, that's what he's doing, that's what he's doing, cramping the batsman every time. But that's nicely done. Will it go all the way? Yes, it does. The batsman was cramped, he wasn't able to free his arms. But the darkest cloud has a silver lining, they say. He was in some sort of trouble. But even in that trouble, he could manage to get that ball and get it for a boundary. Mani Solanki is bowling with a good strategy. He is not bowling with express speed or something. He is not trying to take the ball away or getting those massive turns. He is just trying to cram the batsman. And he has been very successful. This was pitched up. This is beautifully bowled. That was in the slot. Should have been dispatched. But batsman misses. Wicketkeeper misses. The Third man and fine leg, both of them, they miss. It goes for one, two, three, four buys. Well, that was wonderfully bold. The score at the end of over number 7 is 43. 39 for the loss of 3 wicket. Just one more ball to go. 39 for 3 now. Some productive over this one. 10 runs so far. Some fortune, two boundaries, one ba via buys. The last ball of the seventh over. This again nicely bowled. The score at the end of over number seven remains on 39. 39 for the loss of three wickets. Yes, he is doing a Deepak Chahar over here. That's what Mahindra Singh Dhoni does with him. That's what the Indian cricket team does with Bhuneshwar Kumar. Even when they are bowling well, they get all the four overs in. And Vikas Singh is bowling the same. He is bowling his fourth over. Oh, that is nicely bowled again. He has been the one uh, whose bowling has been very difficult. In fact, every over he has picked a wicket. If you go with that rate, they need to see him off now. They should not be going against him. Uh, Vikas has picked up a wicket every over. And uh, three different modes of dismissal. One from a 
paste up delivery another one for the short paste delivery and the next one was a peach with the outgoing uh, ball uh, oh, that's nicely done yeah that's what they need that's what they need they need to keep the scoreboard ticking the previous over was a productive one in which 10 runs were scored runs are going to come runs are going to come and they might get a huge over of 15 16 maybe 20 even 7.2 overs 44 for 3 oh this is nicely done the ball is racing towards that mid wicket region with the single the score moves on to 41 now 41 for 3 we are into the 8th over zooters presents uh, 40 plus 2.0 on this beautiful grounds of sumaya we are coming into the twilight zone the scoring has been consistent but the wickets three wickets two wickets too many actually the scoring is all right that can be made up but this is nicely hit but uh, that will just fall short in fact it will fall in no man's land for a couple but the idea is right the short execution the idea is right going up and over into the extra cover region that's the area where you can get a lot of runs if you are good with your technique you can get a lot of runs over there 43 for 3 some good intent shown by rajesh now he is slightly lagging behind 17 of 27 with just two boundaries he has played a lot of dot deliveries he's trying to make up that's what he should be doing if he has survived those difficult balls he should need to stay there that is beautifully bowled that would be a single that is fantastic running playing with soft hands that smart smart cricket and you call these guys in their 40s they are as agile as the teenagers vikas singh has been brilliant today the last ball of vikas singh's fourth over the last ball of his spell the last ball of the eighth over will vikas continue with his streak of picking wicket of every ball that would be his last opportunity to get a four four three bowled out he, uh, three guys he got bowled yesterday in another tournament and three again today so some good bowling form for vikas the man who looks good bowls good picks a wicket at will oh, almost the fourth one so the score at the end of over number 8 reads 45 runs for the loss of three wickets all three to vikas fantastic spell four overs 20 runs and he has picked not one not two but three wickets caught behind then a catch in the mid wicket region and then a wonderful sight that is the batsman was cleaned up the first two matches they were a sight what fantastic two encounters we saw we also saw pravin thambe in that match and uh, most of the players the first match it was 200 which was almost 200 which was chased down some good entertainment was provided and the first two matches were brilliant and it was just the way to announce that this is going to be a great great tournament and that's what we expect we want to have some quality cricket we want people to enjoy and we want some quality stuff and we want some cricketing uh, entertainment for us as well very beautiful outlooks just like an international match surroundings these are perfect conditions to play cricket a wonderful cricketing ground where we have lightning quick outfield a fantastic pitch and also the facilities the lights over there absolutely top class that's what one needs to have what else does a player need fantastic uh, wicket a beautiful ground with lightning quick outfield and the lights over here little low they are but they are quite adequate to just besides the sign from the highway these guys are enjoying their cricket just cricket is the name of the fielding team and they are here to play just cricket Manish 
no it's the mehul again uh, this will again fall in no man's land jd generally is a very good fielder probably thought he won't be able to come to that one he could have gone maybe a few years back mehul bowling is third over that's hammered down the ground lot of work for jd he has been kept busy over there twice in the space of four balls the batsman has tried to go aerial i think this ball is going to go somewhere maybe out of the boundary or maybe a wicket but that is hit nicely the ball is going to race away towards that boundary yes it will for a very very much needed boundary over there it was needed they needed a wriggle on they needed to move on they needed some impetus to the innings maybe this would be the first of many boundaries to come now sometimes you need just that first one boundary and things just click on after that abhay sharma his name suggests someone who is fearless so abhay sharma has to play that kind of cricket fearless cricket he has already got two boundaries and this guy is going for his shots that's what is more important be positive be aggressive attack they say is the best form of defense and when you are aggressive when you take chances you are bound to get some good results with it also oh what a good shot that is that jade good work by jade the boundary rider has been kept busy but he's doing a good job over there the balls are just racing towards him 52 for 3 Uh, that no one would be able to stop this one this will just race away for two bounces fantastic hit bisecting the long off and the long on to perfection that was nicely done he rocked on to the back foot and hit the ball straight down the ground just like as we see the australian open on charge fantastically done that was four and cross court for 3 this is the over they wanted to go rajesh man and now opening his arms He is making up for that slow start. He is playing well now. Oh, this is hammered. Will it go all the way? No, straight to the fielder over there. Little low, but Rajesh, who was looking good, gets out on the score. On twenty-four, Javi taking a good catch.
So just as when uh, Rajesh was looking good for those big shots, he gets out. What a good shot that was just before getting it was nice hit down the ground. Then he went for that area. He had couldn't get the distance. He got out after a struggling innings of 24. I would say he's a very good batsman. Today wasn't his day. He was trying, just trying to get into some third or fourth gear. Got out 24 of 32, strike rate of 75. Very unlike Rajesh. So Sharma and Singh would be paired up now to get their team out of trouble. Ace Cricket Club, they need to have some ace batting from these two batsmen. That's outside the off stump. Good work there by the wicketkeeper. The umpire would just extend his arms and declare this for yet another wide. The score is 57 now, 57 for 4. Just Cricket have bowled brilliantly. They have put the ball in the right areas. They have got some wickets. Three wickets to Vikas, then one wicket to Mehul. So both the opening bowlers have got success now. Vishal Patil comes into bowl. That's beautifully bowled. Equally well played. The ball straight to the boundary rider. JD has been kept very busy today. With the single the score moves on to 59 now. Fifty-eight, I beg your pardon. So white to start off then a single. Satish Singh would be facing the first ball of his innings. Oh, that's nicely done. Straight to the fielder though. But this is how you start your innings. Get the ball into the middle of your bat. From the look of Vishal, I have what I have seen is the baller who tries to take the ball away. Fifty-nine for four. It's safe. We are coming to the first half of the first innings. Abhay on strike. Abhay has looked very good. But that's streak. Score is on fifty-nine. Four wickets down. Four good wickets. All top four batsmen are back into the hut. Batsman number one, two, three, four are back. Got to see some good bowling by Vikas, coupled with some good support by the other bowlers. But these two guys have to take this innings forward now. Abhay Sharma has looked good. I think he would be the man who would take it to a good score. That's nicely done. Will it find the gap over there? Say just to the fielder over there. Anything towards his right or left would have got him more runs. Instead, it was played with soft and 60 for 4. Just 4 runs in this over. Vishal Patil. Yeah. Having some good variations in his pace. He, he tries to take the ball away. Last ball of Vishal's first over. That's pitched up. That's nicely done. This is what was expected. Yeah, he just waited. He was watching the bowler from the non-striker's end. That's what he was saying. He was taking the ball away. There was with on offer and gleefully taken. Four runs. 60 4 4 4 at the end of over number 10.
Yeah, that's a scoreboard. Some good figures for the bowlers of Chess Cricket. Manish, two overs, ten runs. Mehul, three overs, one wicket, and just 20 runs considered. 6.67 is a good economy rate. Vikas was the peak of the bowlers. Four overs, three wickets, and considered just 22. And the first over of Vishal Patil, it went for eight runs, a boundary of the last ball. So, right now, just cricket right on top, but ace cricket can still make a good comeback because these two batsmen, they look promising. Satish and Abhay, both have had two boundaries. In fact, Abhay has got two boundaries. Satish has it were a boundary. So, there can be the ray of hope. They can be the men who can make the difference and take this total somewhere around 150, 160. Generally, at the end, the score at the end of 10 overs, you add 20 runs to it. That's what happens generally. So, if you have, say, 80 runs in the last 10 overs, it would be close to 150 in them. Zooters presents uh, 40 plus 2.0. The first two matches were a sight to watch. High scoring matches where a big score was chased down. And uh, it was complete entertainment. This match is slightly different. But take my word, these guys know how to fight. Ace Cricket Club, Abhay Sharma and Satish Singh might just be the two men who provide the difference. And get their team right on track. Right now, just cricket. Getting everything right. Getting the field placements right. Getting their best fielders on those boundary as boundary riders. And uh, getting all the well-trafficked area covered with some good fielders. JD doing a good job. Vishal doing a good job as boundary riders. I think it is MS who is going to continue. He is going to he'll bowl to third over. Manish Solanki comes in to bowl his third over. He has bowled well. Two overs and ten runs for Manish. Yeah, Abhay Sharma is on strike. What that's what his name suggests. Abhay means fearless. That's what he should be there. This is nicely bowled. This boy guy is bowling some good balls. Look at his like the way he rolls his fingers. Most of his balls are the balls which come in actually. And uh, they try and cram the batsman. He does not try to get a lot of turn. A very, very unique kind of action. What a good shot that is on the up into the extra cover region. That would be easy couple. So with this brace, the score moves on to 66 now. 66 for 4. Suters presents 40 plus 2.0. This is match number three. The ball is racing towards the mid wicket. They are running the first one quickly. And they would just about any idea of going for the second one. The fielder just came in there. Satish comes back on strike. Satish hit a beautiful boundary of the last ball of the previous over. Gets an opportunity. To get few more. Both the batsmen without their helmets now. Vikas's four overs are done and dusted. Lots of spinners over there to confront. That's beautifully cut. That's nicely played. Will it race away towards the boundary? A good work by the fielder over there. One handed pick up. But he cannot stop them for going for the brace. With this brace the score moves on to 69 now. That's beautifully done. Uh, that's nicely tucked. In fact, that would be easy to. If they work hard, they can get the third even. But they won't. They won't. Because they would be saving their energies to go for the big ones. These two batsmen have stitched up a nice little partnership. Cricket, of course, just like your life, it's a game of partnerships where you need to build the small little partnerships. Those small quantums of partnerships always get you through. So, they don't, we don't need a big man, one man to score all those big runs. We need a partnership if you want to come back in a game. That's beautifully played. That's what has been uh, the highlight of his batting. He's playing those uh, 
shot balls well score at the end of over number 11 is 71 for the loss of four wickets a good productive over Vishal Patil will continue. Second over for Vishal. First over was a good one and up until the last ball where we gave a lot of width to Satish and Satish just hammered him for a boundary just behind point region. 11 over 71. Abhay Sharma comes on strike again. Oh, he goes for the big one. Uh, very high into that. Just between the two fielders. Very fortuitous. Just a single. With this one, the score moves on to 72 now. 72 for 4. Abhay and Satish. Satish has started off well. 9 runs of just 6 balls. Satish will go for his big shots. Oh, that was nicely bowled. Equally well played. And the ball will just race away towards the boundary. Again, a couple. That's the issue. Like, they have missed out on three runs twice in a row. That was very well bowled. In fact, the ball just got big on him. It was an incoming delivery. But nicely handled by the batsman Satish over there. Vishal Patil can get the ball moving both ways. He is a very, very experienced bowler and he tries to keep th things really tight. But they will have to take chances against every bowler now. They need to get a move on. They need that impetus. Oh, that is nicely done. This is as graceful as you can get. That, that is just beautifully done. You don't have to muscle the ball. You don't have to hit very hard. You can use the pace of the bowler as well. This is nicely done. Those four runs would help. 15 runs for Satish. He hasn't taken chances. He hasn't gone for those big aerial shots. Instead, he has used the pace of the bowler twice now. One behind point and this time into the fine leg region. And this time, he tries to hammer it down the ground. So good batting, good sensible batting. Nine ball, 16. That's a good cameo from uh, Satish. He does not want to have it uh, just a cameo. He wants to have at least 40 runs from here on. He should be adding to his tally. So as to take his team somewhere close to 150. For that, they need to score 80 runs of the remaining 8 overs. If they want to get close to 160. Oh, that's hit down the ground again. Some good batting now. They're playing with the straight bat. They are trying to get those singles. They are trying to get an opportunity to get boundaries. They have learned, run a lot of twos now. 84-4. Satish comes back on strike. He has looked good. He has been enterprising. He has provided that impetus that the team needed. Oh, that was pitched up. That is hammered. That is, that's a shot of the night for me. That's nicely done. Just dug out and hit it powerfully for a much needed boundary. 84-4-4. The boundary coming at the right time. So good batting, great batting in fact by these two batsmen, Satish and Abhay, just playing like their names. Abhay is playing some serious cricket and Satish just scintillating. He is 
has come with a positive intent abhay sharma and that has just rubbed off to satish and satish has uh, scored one two three boundaries in space of just 10 deliveries now 8444 this is some good reading for them now one wicket too many but that's fine uh, the ball it into the covers just for a single they are doing it nicely now they are doing it methodically they are taking those singles they are waiting for the loose ball and if the scoring lags behind they go for those big ones some calculated cricket by these two men singh and sharma oh that's that was down the leg so he missed out he missed out that was down the leg side any tickle on the leg side that would have fetched him four runs instead they would be happy with that wide that is nicely bowled beautifully bowled manish solanki has been good today in fact he has been more than good actually he has bowled right where his team expects him to bowl almost had the first wicket for him the wicket keeper for the second time has missed out you know dattara has taken good catch has taken a good catch the first catch was a brilliant one the ball was just racing off of the bat and picked up a very very good catch and yes been very good behind the stumps dattaram parab he is a fiery cricketer good batsman as well and look at his quick hands he may have uh, not been able to collect a few but other than that he has been brilliant known for his good wicket keeping that was quick that was real quick getting rid of the ball and uh, removing the wheels we in a flash nicely bowled again just cramping the batsmen and pinning them onto the back foot this wasn't a good throw at all this is poor poor work some good bowling been penalized by some indifferent throwing he won't be happy he has every right to be unhappy manish manish would be bowling the last ball of his spell is bowled well great way to finish the same way he started he cramped up the batsman on the ball number 1 he again cramped up the batsman on the last ball of his spell the score at the end of over number 13 is 944 and figures for manish solanki say oh, in fact he has one more over to go 3 overs and 23 4 overs 23 runs right Oh, that is his end of his spell. Four overs, twenty-three. That's good. Five point seven five runs per over. Not bad at all. In fact, very good. So the experienced bowler Ravindra comes into bowl. He is very economical generally. Very very fiercely cricketer. Balls real tight overs. So they will have to take chances against him as well. Ravindra, he has been brilliant in this season in many tournaments where he has bowled. 
not an ideal start for him. He's a very very safe bowler and uh, has bowled in many tournaments across in the season and has been good in fact brilliant 91 for 4 they will have to take chances against him as well abhay sharma and satish both capable of doing abhay sharma on 24 satish has reached on to 21 of 12 but that's nice bowling that is beautifully done but straight to the field almost that's a big appeal that i'm doing a great job it won't be referred Batsman was well in as per the umpire. Both the umpires doing a great job. When the umpire and the wicketkeeper, they go unnoticed, they have done a good job. The only time we notice an umpire or a wicketkeeper is the time when they do a mistake. So, considering all those facts, the umpires have done a great job. Got all their decisions right on spot. And even the wicketkeeper, except for one or two mistakes, he has been brilliant today. Dattaram, very, very quick with his hands. 92 for 4, we are into the 14th over. Abhay Sharma, Satish. Satish comes on strike. He's 21 of just 12. That's nicely bold. Ninety-three four four is what the scoreboard reads. Rabindra bowling his first over. I think he would be bowling those important crucial overs in the second half of the innings. This is intelligent batting. Single of every ball. They've got a wide. So four runs in the first three balls. Not bad at all. This is the face which decides the fate of the match actually. This is the phase uh, in which they need to preserve wickets as well. They need to get a put push on, but not going mad at every ball which they face. So they are batting intelligently. First over for Ravindra, they are having a look at him. Not that they have playing, they have been playing for him for the first time, but they know Ravindra's strength. Yeah, he will bowl within the stumps. He will not give that kind of leverage for them to hit. That is nicely bowled. Good change in variation for Rabindra. Previous balls were good length ball. This one was pitched right up. Uh, that's what you should be playing with the mind of the batsman as well. Cricket, after all, is a game of, uh, we say, it's a game of the grey matter. Just outthinking the batsman and just thinking what the ball is going to bowl. Anticipating and not having the same kind of monotony. Just keeping that element of surprise intact. First few balls were good length balls. Ball trying to take few away, take one in. This one was pitched right up. I think he'll go for again that length ball outside the off stump. Yeah, that's what he does. Datta doing a good job. This is what he's good at, Ravindra. He would read what the batsman is going to do. Five runs of his first five balls. Abhay, he's just going for his shots. Last ball, he won't take a chance. Uh, that's great collection from Ravi, from the wicket keeper. He saved those five runs, four runs for his team. That was some good work. The ball was pitched on the leg stem and it was racing towards the boundary. Good work by Datta. Not easy. Rabindra is not that slow. He can ball some quick balls. Good ball. Nicely played and very well run. The score at the end of over number 14 is 97. 36 balls remaining in which to get at least 50 to 55 runs.
9744 is what the score suggests look at the beautiful ground actually nice outfield and both the teams almost with similar kind of outfits one with a tinge of pink and violet in it the other one with yellow and pink in it the only difference between those two teams are those difference of yellow and uh, violet but right now the difference is of good bowling 97 for 4 the wednesday has been wonderful for the bowler vikas singh picking up three wickets right now just cricket is slightly ahead <laughs> ace cricket fighting back fighting back really well with abhay sharma and satish singh 27 and 23 they have got respectively 27 of 27 satish 23 of just 14 abhay meanwhile has been trying to be aggressive he is the one who has shown some intent satish on the other side is using the pace of the bowler and only one good shot of anger which was hit into the cover was that was a fabulous shot for me the shot of the day wonderful boundary towards the extra cover region other than that he has been using the pace of the ball into the point region or into the five leg region 97 for four last six ball last six overs in fact oh what a shot this is elegantly played but the fielder is stationed over there generally we do not find a fielder over there in the extra cover region but that is good field placement that was so very well played just for a single that shot deserves more than one that was nicely done graceful as ever but just for a single 98 for 4 and satish who has been enterprising he has got the impetus to the innings who has got this team right back into this one remember they were just 64 at end of over number 10 and they have managed to get 34 in four overs which is not bad uh, this is nicely dug out this is beautifully played and hitting the ball in some different areas this is not easy place to hit the ball he was uh, not in a ideal position to hit that one look at the ball it was nicely bowled cramping the batsman and this is beautiful batting just dug it out and hit the ball into the covers the ball just moved swiveled and ran towards the boundary that is 100 runs on the scorecard 102 for 4 102 for 4 now we are into the 15th over and satish is continuing with his great batting in fact he is strike rate is close to 200 now dattaram again doing good job umpire would just extend his arms and signal it as a wide 103 for 4 now very very enterprising satish singh on strike that was so very close to being cleaned up he does not have to go for every shot now he can still stay because he has got a boundary of the in this over he doesn't have to hit every ball over there some good bowling there and some powerful hitting straight to the fielder this oh he has that's the first glitch of the day and the fielder immediately apologizes has been a good day in field for them this one just went past him that's the only thing i can say that was hit so very hard just at the last moment the fielder made a basic error of not covering the body with ball with his body and four runs so two boundaries one good one the other one for two tests for the batsman on your screen oh this is brilliant hit that's a courageous shot when you have long off over there oh my god two miss field this is contagious after a miss field a catch being dropped javed is a very very safe fielder he drops that Nine times out of ten, he would have grabbed onto that one, but this time drops a very important catch of very well set Satish. Yeah, that's smart batting. Not to take chances, not to take chances when they have already got a couple of boundaries. Hundred and nine for four at the end of over number fifteen. A very very productive over. So they are looking at those fifty runs in the last five. Let's see. Where the ace cricket go get past that one sixty mark? Last thirty balls for them.
so a powerful start to a power surge in which they got some good runs some valuable runs and courtesy some good hitting two boundaries in that over and in which they got 12 runs they need a lot of overs like this they need a lot of overs like this the power surge first over productive for ace cricket satish hitting those two wonderful boundaries abhay sharma he would be the one who would go crazy in the next six balls take my word abhay is not going to take a backward seat now against rabindra it won't be easy because rabindra is a very very safe bowler very very experienced guy a season campaigner who is known for keeping things tight for me the wicket keeper has been the star of the day he has done a good job standing up and uh, except for that one bias the four bias which he let go he has been brilliant rabindra rj comes into ball his second over 16th over of the innings and also the second over of the pass surge that's what i was talking about he would go crazy trying to hit him uh, down the ground of the very first ball this guy that is the reason i say is very smart rj it comes on and bowls those difficult overs where the batsman tries to go against him and especially when you bowl at the fag end of the innings and that too in a pass surge over that's a tough job and he enjoys doing that without any expressions or emotions on his face uh, this is some good work both by the bowler and again by datta dp looks in good form datta ram parab he is in red hot form collects the ball deftly and uh, removes the bails in a flash say some good cricket over there good technique by datta remains low i think this is going to disappear yes it does what a shot this is this is the shot of the night that's hammered butchered and nicely hit that's the start of authority what a good shot that was six runs fantastic hit look at that one that was in the slot abhay had had enough of that and this is nicely done just like a goal swing beautiful to what good work by the cameraman following the ball all the way some great hitting this is the shot of the night for me just into the side screen 115 that's the first sixer for abhay and i promise you that won't be the last one he would go for it again ah uh, he went for it again and uh, beaten again datta looking in good form thrice in this over he has whipped off the bails thrice the umpire says nothing to do with it na sir he is well within his crease oh uh, that was a nicely bowled out swinger but no footwork the foot was just rooted that's the secret the previous ball he was onto the pitch of the ball oh that is beautiful bowling he has been hit for a sixer but then other four balls right on spot 12 runs were conceded in the first pass surge over will that be 10 or 12 or just six let's see rabindra has been brilliant in spite of being hit for a sixer abhay would go again i think this time to the mid wicket region or the cow corner he go instead he goes down the ground jd has been busy and he has done a great job all throughout just a single and with the single the score moves on to 116 116 for four at the end of over number Yeah, Vijay Singh just orchestrating all the field over there. Vijay, and uh, it's going to be Sushil to bowl the last 
one of the last four rovers. So at the end of over number 16, the score is 116. 116 for 4. This has been a fantastic fight back by this batsman number 5 and 6, Sati Ishanabai, playing some fearless cricket and uh, stitching up a beautiful partnership. But they are batting in the third gear. They should be moving on to the fourth and fifth gear now. Good positive batting. Uh, that was a very indifferent shot. The ball was, the batsman was just waiting for ages to it to arrive. It just stopped over there. Just like a tennis ball kind of bounce it was. 117. This is good viewing now. 37 and 32 both the batsmen on. And Satish, I think will go very hard against Sushil. He would take his chances. Maybe region over extra cover. The next shot would be coming. Because the way he is bowling, he tries to bowl outside the off stump. Maybe a lofted cover drive or something. Because they need to have a extra... Yeah, there is a fielder in covers. Probably the wrong area. A lot of it was on offer. But he has got those areas protected. All those boundaries are well covered over there. Three fielders patrolling the boundary over there. One on uh, deep point. The other one uh, in the covers. And one in the long off. So that area is covered. One in the cow corner region, one in the long on. The area behind isn't covered. So, anything behind. Beautifully bowled. So, Sheil balling the ball in the right way. The first two balls were not that great. They should have been dispatched, were in dispatch. But for a single, two runs in first three balls. He would go for a big one now. Maybe down the ground. Outside the off stamp. The umpire would just ex yeah, extend his arms and indicate that's a wide. That's what the bowler is not happy. He was just saying the batsman just shuffled. That was an in-between call but the right one. He was aiming for that big boundary down the ground. Will he go again? Or will he go... Yes, he goes. And uh, just towards the field. Again, just few centimeters above the ground. A very unique technique of catching. Just few centimeters above the ground. He gets, he dropped one, but he has taken one now.
but that's a good innings by abhay sharma he played well staged a good partnership with satish and got his team to a relatively better position that's good fight back a good partnership coming to an end a partnership of Sixty-three runs partnership of just forty-five balls. That is brilliant batting. That is good fight back. Uh, some fair guard action shown by Abhay, just like his name. Some good cricket, fearless cricket. Uh, the figures may not suggest that the innings was taken with a lot of positive intent. Thirty-seven of thirty-seven, but that was good innings which gave confidence to Satish to go well. Satish is going good, but generally it happens one wicket follows another. But Satish should stay there till the twentieth over. One twenty. KG is the new batsman. K. U. Gandhi. Hundred and twenty for five. Last ball of the seventeenth over. So Shields first over. First over, he has got some success. In fact, he has broken the partnership, which was a very good one. In fact, they stayed there for almost seven to eight overs, and uh, got their team to a respectable situation. Nineteen balls. They would need minimum of thirty to forty runs. Datta, brilliant again. But why the score will move on to one twenty one now? He has kept so well, just like a commando. He is asking this fine leg, a third man, in fact, to come little finer. Uh, that would fall. Uh, that's a good catch. The ball was swirling, moving, and has taken a good catch over there. Uh, just look at the replay. Was it that difficult? Let's see. Oh, he just maybe must have lost his footing, and has held on to that one. Yeah, that's a good catch. The ball was swirling around. That's a fantastic catch. In fact, that's a good catch. Great catch. Ravindra, not with only with bowling, he can take some blinders, and he has proved again in one of the matches of Zooters finals. He took one of the better catches of the tournament in the finals, and uh, that's what generally happens. Commentators curse. One batsman follows on a Satish brilliant innings of 33 of just 21. That's what happens in a partnership. You lose one partner, the second partner follows. Kyur and Rishi, it would be now. Instead, they have made a change now. Vinod would be the one who would be accompanying. So Ravindra would do a very very comes to ball the eighteenth. Came into ball the fourteenth over. Has bowled the fourteenth over. He bowled difficult overs. He bowled one over. Considered a success still. So the last eighteen balls of the first innings, Zooters presents forty plus two point two. Ah, Datta, some great work. Datta trying to be smart, trying to fool the umpire. Umpires are well experienced. 
the very time you think of fooling them they would be giving you a wide even if it's just a marginal one 122 for 6 now robindra nicely bowled this is why this guy is so very important just bowls the ball in the right area kayur and vinod both of them new to the crease satish and abhay did a good job now it will be kayur and vinod Kayur seems to be a batsman with a very very compact technique. That's beautifully done. Oh, we're not taking a chance. Oh, that was so very close to being out. That was a risky run. That's nicely done, in fact. We'll just wait for the umpire's decision. Yeah, yeah, he's not out. Oh, that's a risky run, but they need to take this chance. That was just look at the replay. nicely bowled again cramping the batsman bowling into the middle stump and uh, straight to the field a one handed pick up great throw but running better a good decision by the umpire 1 2 3 4 6 now vinod comes on strike for the very first time Hundred and twenty-four is what the scoreboard reads. One twenty-four for six. The ball kept low, I, well managed by the. Not good running, I would say this time from Vinod. Generally, he runs well. He had to go for that first one quickly. There was an opportunity. There was a small that that was that small window to take that second one. Vinod comes back on strike now. That's nicely swept. They're racing for the second one. They would get an easy one. This all runs are important now. Rabindra. master class that's why they depend on him he's a very reliable bowler bowling those tight deliveries 3 overs and 2.5 overs and 20 considering the fact that he has been bowling those difficult overs one of the overs was in pass search again accentuating the fact that he's bowls just within the stumps 18 overs 128 runs for the loss of 6 wickets 3 overs and 21 runs against rabindra's name Yes, the man with the golden arm who got those two important wickets who were looking so good. The man who started with two bad balls, but he got two wickets of the two well-set batsmen. Oh, that is hammered. This is going to race away towards. Oh, no one's going to stop this one. What a good pull shot that is, and pulled with authority. Agreed, that was shot. Agreed, that was to be hit, but that was hit so very well. Yeah, we know the nicely pulling it. Had a lot of time. couple of bounces goes on to the square leg fence this is good 132 now 132 for 6 they're getting closer to that 150 mark 160 seems to be out of distance but if vinod and kayur manage to get few runs this way Kayur comes on strike. I got just got mistaken between them two. Kayur 
we know it comes on strike. We know there's a batsman who has some good technique and uses his all grace and finesse to get those runs. Not always power is important. You can get those runs with good technique. But this is nicely bowled. Just keeping it straight and simple. Not trying to go for those all fancy deliveries. Those yorkers, those slower deliveries, those bumpers, those uh, back of the hand deliveries. Instead, he's just trying to keep it simple. Not giving room. Keeping the ball just within that third or fourth stump. This one was down the leg side. Uh, that is great running. The umpire would say these are two whites. Just sneaking a single just underneath Dattaram's nose. Again, Dattaram has done a good job. The ball, most balls, many balls in fact were sliding down the leg side. He has kept so very well. In fact, he has saved, I think five times he has saved those balls going down the leg side. So that's good wicket keeping. With that single, 136, 136 for 6, last 8 balls. They would have a small minute target in their mind, they would like to have at least 150. That would be a fighting score. That won't be a score which they can boast of, which they can defend easily. They have to work very hard to defend that because the opposition had some great batsmen in them. 136 for 6. Vinod, he's on two. That is close. Yeah, no signal from the umpire, which indicates, yeah, that's a leg by, he says. Hundred and thirty seven for six. Keur comes on strike. Has hit a nice pull shot for a boundary. They would expect one more from him. He would go again, I think, in the same area. Instead he goes. And the ball is just moving, turning, swiveling. And swivels past the fielder in the short third man. And goes for four runs. Rabindra says, you go and fetch it. I'm not going to run behind it. 141 for six at the end of over number 19. Let's look at the replay. He just went for the big heap. <laughs> Slash and slash hard, they say. He slashed hard. The ball just moved, swiveled and ran past the two fielders over there, bisecting the two and swiveling across, turning across for a very, very important boundary. 141 for six. Last six balls coming up, guys. Oh, that was supposed to be taken. The ball is just racing towards the boundary over there. They would be happy with the brace now. 143 for 6. 5 balls remaining. The magical figure of 150 looks in distance now. It looks close now. But Ravindra, he can do strange things. He can get a few wickets as well. Tall bowler bowling the 14th, 16th, 18th and now the last over. The final over of the innings. Oh, that was well bowled. So very close to being LBW. Inside edge might have saved him. That's what he does. Puts the ball in the right areas. The pitch helping it out over there. The ball remains little. There's not a lot of shoulder. That helps when to keep the ball low. And at times he can use both some quicker deliveries using his shoulders as well. Oh, that just remained low. That's a nice pickup shot and it will be racing for it for the boundary. Much needed. Without getting that crucial boundary. Look at the shot. The ball remained little low. Oh. Again cramping the batsman. Four runs. 147 now. Three balls remaining. They need at least one. If they would be happy if they get two. Three, they would be jumping up and down. They would need minimum one, if not two. 
that's outside the obstacle we'll wait for the umpire signal yeah he says that's a fair delivery two balls remaining that's what ravindra is inquiring how many balls to go two balls 147 for six he would go down the ground he would go crazy now oh that's again edged but straight to the fielder over there mehul doing a good job he started off with the ball in hand and the ball is chasing him even towards the fag end of the innings 148 will that be so very close that's what i said ravindra can do strange things he has bowled a fantastic over in spite of conceding a boundary has just given away seven runs that's great bowling in the last over this guy bowls those in difficult overs and bowls them brilliantly last over will kayur get them past 150 Will Kayur manage to get a boundary? Maybe a thick inside edge towards the fine leg region. Oh, instead, he goes for an up and over into the covers. Gets out in the process. Rajesh Naidu taking a beautiful catch. 148 is what they manage at the end of over number 20. Last ball, last wicket for Rabindra. Out swinger it was. Nicely hit. Up and over into the covers. Straight to Rajesh Naidu, he did not have to move towards his left, towards his right. Gets a catch done easily. 149 is the target in 20 overs. They need to score these runs at the run rate of close to 7.5 runs per over, 7.45 to be precise. Let's meet after a break and let's see how Just Cricket chases down.
149 runs is what the target is. Uh, this is match 3. Zooters presence uh, 40 plus 2.0 on this wonderful grounds of Somaya facilities. We have uh, two good teams up against each other. Ace Cricket managed to score 148 runs. First ball. Yeah. Both the teams starting the same way. Both of them started with a left armor. It was Mohil, Mehul who started off the first one. And uh, for them, it's Rahul. So Mehul and Rahul, to two left armors, spin bowlers, starting off the proceedings. Beautifully bowled. That was so very well bowled. Nice flight being offered to the ball. Nicely bowled. That's a class shot. That is why this guy is so very dangerous. Four runs. That was so very well bowled. But the shot even better. That was slightly risky. Yeah, Sweeping uh, from the middle stump. Not easy. If he had missed, that was a big, big candidate for LBW. But so very well done. CK gets his first boundary. He's a prolific scorer. Generally chops off majority of the runs. He's a player who gets those 50s casually. Very, very elegant looking batsman. He will not go for those big shots. He will just play with some elegance, with some panache, some class, some artistry, some finesse. Yeah, this is what he does so very well. A batsman who can play different shots. He's not the one who would always try and muscle the shots. He instead goes for those wrists. So six ones on the scorecard. Rahul, a pretty good bowler. Gives a nice flight to the ball. That's good courageous bowling. Bowling the first over of the power play. And uh, bowling it quite courageously. Giving nice flight. Left-hander against left-hander is always a difficult proposition. Because left-handers fancy left-arm pace bowlers. It's not always righty against righty. But left armers against left armor, it becomes a difficult proposition for a bowler. The lefties are known to go big against the lefties. Let's see Preet, what he does. He goes for the big one, misses out completely. The ball was sliding down the leg side. Nothing from the bowler. The other fielders were excited. The last ball of the first over. That's beautifully cut. Straight to the fielder. Nicely run. CK putting all those difficult. He takes that difficult single. The score at the end of over number one is six runs for no loss. Yeah, Rickin to bowl the second over. And unlike just cricket, yeah, they're starting off with two spinners. Vikas Singh was the one who was a medium pacer. Rickin comes in. Oh, that ball just moved away. Preet. Preet is on strike. Remember, this is 40 plus tournament. And uh, look at the agility of these fielders. 
very very athletic some of them that is good bowling just keeping it straight and simple keeping things tight six runs on the score card six for no loss preet just one of four balls he just stops stutters moves and he goes up and over this is a slash when you slash you slash hard the ball swivels moves and it would be racing out for we'll wait for them but that's good work that's good work there by abhay sharma so three runs added to the total ck comes on strike ck has got one boundary this was slashed hard by preet two dot deliveries and after that a big heave fetching him those three important runs but the batsman the bowler would be happy he just managed to get that outside edge they need a lot of wickets in the first few overs ck is a pretty decent batsman in fact he is the one who can uh, take this innings ahead if he remains there for 8 9 overs he would be taking command of this match and uh, just cricket would be in a very very strong position ck generally scores big gets those 50s for fun the man who is not known for his uh, hard shots but the man who is known for his all his artistry all his finesse he comes on strike again oh that's an inside edge that's a big inside edge good call there by the umpires the umpires have been immaculate they have given all the decisions right two noises in over there inside edge onto the pads good call there chetan kapoor beaten for the first time ck they call him fondly oh this is what ck can do hammers it into the square leg region for a wonderfully hit boundary that was a big slog 13 runs look at the shot yes twice on now he has taken the ball and swept off the stumps that was nicely done the score moves on to 13 now both the boundaries to ck ck yes slight problem with this yeah the score is 13 now last ball ck at what at for the loss for no kitan kapoor retain strike Rahul comes into bowl. Oh, this is so very well bowled. This guy is bowling. some good balls but this is poor fielding this is in fact very poor fielding they would run away for a couple no just a single bowler won't be happy rahul won't be happy great ball and they have just given away single to chetan kapoor preet with just four or five balls got a streakish three in the previous over he won't be taking a back seat the way i look at him and from the small observation like what we have done he is the one who goes for his shots and he would take advantage of it a tall guy if the ball is in his arc he is going to go for those big shots yeah oh, this is again ck running some good singles he pulled his hamstrings in the previous tournaments not good fielding over there the bowler won't be happy he has every reason to be angry over there 
is bowling some good deliveries fielders are not backing him up rahul best thing about him he gives flight to chetan and against preet he is trying to bowl flat let's see whether he gives the same flight again to chetan nicely bowled nicely bowled enticing bowling quality stuff he hasn't had much of turn that's since it's a new ball but he's giving it a nice flight nice pace even he's not trying to rush the ball he's bowling at the apt pace actually his height is an advantage for him beautifully bowled again and what a good shot this is into the mid wicket region yeah few bounces and it goes for the third boundary for ck that is why i said he's a very enterprising batsman he gets those boundaries quickly and uh, he is the one who expedits the scoring run rate he is the one who gets the impetus without even the opposition noticing it so three shots three shots on the rise two into the square leg one into the mid wicket ck on strike again almost beaten up completely this two runs would be added to the tally the score will move from 20 to 22 now to by c says last ball of rahul sower fielders did not support him much bowling has been accurate score at the end of over number 3 is 22 for no loss chetan on 15 preet on 5 Rickin So Rickin bowling is second over conceded eight in the first over who's bowling but that was pitched outside the leg stump that's what the umpire says it was crashing towards the middle stump but the ball was pitched just outside the leg stump that's good decision Once the ball pitches out the leg stump, as you know, you cannot be given out. Just you can see the replay. Yeah, that was. See, the ball pitching outside the leg stump, crashing onto the middle stump. But that's the basic rule: you cannot be given out when the ball is pitched outside the leg stump. Good call there by the umpire. In fact, it becomes easy for them once the ball pitches outside. is getting that swing the new ball does this funny things he's trying to get the ball away he's trying to get the ball in even the both the ways he's moving the ball is making the ball talk with his short little run up chetan wasn't ready the stop at stutter of rickin just confusing him unique kind of action he has but he is capable of moving the ball both ways Oh Chetan Kapoor hits it very fiercely. That's a boundary. That's a fourth one for him. That was hit fiercely. That was butchered in fact. That was a gift on offer gleefully taken. Short and wide outside the off stump. Four runs written all over it. Twenty-seven. 
nicely bold equally well played is getting those movements actually those little movements only are the ones which get you the wickets not those big ones which turn a lot or swing a lot just that little kind of turn or swing fetches you the wicket 27 chetan kapoor looking in red hot form as usual that this is how i have seen him playing almost every match every time i have seen him play he plays this way he just builds an innings on his own takes the innings ahead nice opener to have in your team especially in a tournament of 40 plus this guy is just gold dust oh, that's a beautiful shot that's the third shot he has taken off the stumps and that's his favorite shot look at it at least three or four times he has hit that shot with that kind of risk he misses it and he is out maybe lbw but this time nicely done that he has swept right from the square leg behind square in front of square into the square leg region all kind of shots so his area starts from square leg to mid wicket to cow corner he can sweep from there so that's his arc those uh, i can say 120 degrees over there for him are the scoring areas and also has hit a boundary over the point region 31 is what the score is last ball ck goes what a shot this is this is just a short arm jab and that's a class shot wasn't an easy shot to execute but that was played with a lot of finesse look at that shot great power great finesse and good skills over there digging the ball out this is beautifully done down the ground so score at the end of over number 4 is 35 for no loss a very very productive first four overs for just cricket So four overs and thirty-five runs. They are on pursuit to get this hundred and forty-nine runs. They need hundred and fourteen runs in the remaining sixteen overs, and that's not going to be a tough task at all. In fact, things have become relatively easier after some good hitting by Ch Chetan and some good partnership being provided by Preet. Preet hasn't had a lot of uh, strike, just seven balls of twenty-four. So almost majority of the strike Chetan has kept. Only twenty-five percent, I would say, twenty-five to thirty percent of the strike has been to Preet. Nicely bowled. The ball just remained low. Preet has got a strike after a long time. Samir coming into bowl his first over. Beautifully bowled. That's a fantastic ball. Unfortunately, for some good bowling, he's penalised. One, two, three, four runs. The ball will just skittle for first boundary for Preet. A fortuitous one. Very quick. This left fielder absolutely had no chance. So Preet hasn't been convincing as yet, but he would be happy with those four runs. I think he would go for a big one again. He won't be liking that kind of boundary. He would like to get an author shot of authority now. He would like to get a boundary of authority. 
Nicely bowled straight down the ground. 40 now. This is good going. This is good opening partnership. Chetan Kapoor and Preet. Now let's see what CK does against Samir. He has been prolific against the spinners. CK has swept well. In fact, four boundaries he has swept. And on the rise, he picks up the ball so very well. On the knees even. So right from backward square leg to the cow corner, he can get those shots. So sweeps and slog sweeps. He has had some good shots today. Taking the ball off the stumps. Oh, this is so gracefully done, but straight to the fielder. 41. Uh, all different kinds of shots in his area now. No, good batting by CK. Trying to just paddle it past the short third man over, short fine leg over there. Samigur. Unique action he has. Preet pushes it. Very compact looking left hander is Preet. Today he has gone for some indifferent shots. Some slashes. Twice he was close to getting out. But he's still there. And giving good company to Chetan Kapoor. Who is 28 of 18. Chetan would go for a sweep again I think. The square leg field. And uh, fine leg. Oh, that's nicely done. Score remains on 42 at the end of over number 5. 42 for no loss. CK on 28. Preeth on 11. Yeah, Preet is hitting some good shots now. He is hitting the ball, middling the ball in fact now. Previously, he wasn't able to do that well. But he is getting his timing back. He is getting his rhythm back. They are going along so well. East Cricket need to pick up some wickets. They need few wickets to come back. They are a set of good bowlers with them. Rahul is a fantastic bowler. We know the even he is a fighter. He needs to pick up a few wickets now. He is the one who does not give away the matches quickly. Let's see what he does now. He squared him up completely over there. And this will help. The singles are going to help. 105 needed. They're going along in a clinical way. They had their opportunities to pick up wickets. Unfortunately, haven't managed to get one. Outside the Ofstrom, the umpire just extends his arm to declare it as a wide. 45, the score moves on to now. 5.2 overs, 45. Uh, 
Vinod against Preet. That's nicely played. Now Preet is getting his timing right now. In fact, he's looking more assured than even CK now. Just within space of two balls, Preet looks all set. Now he's a batsman who can play those good innings, holding on to one end. CK meanwhile will go for his shots. The other batsmen would love to go there and have a strike, but they won't get an opportunity if these two guys keep on batting like this. Yeah, he's doing the umpire's job, giving the, his guard, Preet. He will go down the ground, that's what I feel. Played with the soft hands. Uh, singles is what they have managed. That's what they need in this over. Exactly 102 needed now. In the remaining 98 balls. The difference between the number of runs needed and the balls remaining, just four, which is very, very easy in terms of even 50 over cricket. This is T20. That's how you hit them. Straight down the ground with straight bat. That's what I said. Last few shots of Preet. He is looking in good nick. He started off very indifferently, not middling anything. In fact, was... Twice he got those three cases, a three and a four. But right now he's getting those singles easily. On your screen you can see that 40. 2.0. That signifies this is a 40 plus tournament. But these fielders, they can play some great cricket. First two matches were just out of the world. Fantastic. We could see. This is finesse. This is finesse. This is CK. Minimum effort, maximum result. And uh, making KU run all the way to fetch it. So 50 on the scorecard and probably the 5th boundary, in fact the 6th, 7th boundary for Chetan. In no time this guy has got 7th boundaries and most of his scoring areas have been from fine leg to backward square leg to square leg to mid wicket to cow corner and one shot into the covers. So all 6 boundaries on the leg side, one of the offside of this prolific opening batsman. 34 of 22, 14 of 14 for Preet. So the left armor continues. Uh, he would be up against another left-hander, Preet, who has kept one end tight and he has taken those singles. Managed to hold on to nicely played. Just for a single off to the back foot. Last four shots, all off middle of the bat. That's what uh, Preet is, has done. 53 now. Not much they need now. In fact, under 100 now. Ninety-five balls in which to get those ninety-six runs. Oh, he goes for that slog sway, but straight to the long on region. He wanted to go in the mid wicket cow corner region. Single. That's what he manages. Thankfully, he did not time it that well. Otherwise, there was the fielder stationed over there. The boundary rider would have pouched it easily. Preet. He has had one boundary, one streakish one. In this over, I think he would get his second one. Maybe a proper one now. He would go for a big one. Instead, he goes for those singles. He does not want to give any chance to the opposition. Good opening partnership. Unbeaten one till now. 55 runs. Samir, he's a pretty handy bowler. 
It's been taken for a few runs now. He goes for all those fancy shots. He wanted to go for a paddle sweep. Just aiming that area just behind uh, fine leg. Understands the fielder is inside the 30 yard circle. Wanted to go above him. He wasn't able to time. Chetan Kapoor is a very thinking cricketer. He loves his batting. A proper batsman who just enjoys and just plays cricket just for batting. Does not like bowling. Does not like fielding. He's just there to bat and bat long. Nicely, delicately done. And Chetan, he would do anything to get on strike. He may be injured. He may not be in the best of his uh, athletic abilities. But for getting strike, he would run like a hare. Especially when it comes to getting on strike. This guy just enjoys batting. I haven't seen a batsman who does not enjoy batting. But certain guys are such. Who just don't like fielding. Just don't like batting, fielding and bowling. But they just love batting. A typical opening batsman. Five times I have commented on this guy. Four times he has got his 50. Uh, that is some nice execution. He has some good ideas. Like when he goes for those choice of sorts. He has good ideas. 7 overs, 57 runs at the end of over number 7. Sanjay Dalvi, it would be the new bowler and 92 from 78, 92 runs in 13 overs, that is 7 runs per over. The asking rate just above 7 which is very very easy with all 10 wickets in hand. These guys can go for an overdrive, instead they, they won't be thinking of going for those big shots because the team is well placed. Chetan would be eyeing for his half century. In fact, he would like to go even bigger. Preet on the other end, 17 of 17. He is also enjoying his stay over there. Four extras. And 53 runs between these two guys. Sanjay Dalvi comes in. Left arm orthodox. Oh, what a ball that was. A beautiful action. Everything which you call your coach tells you to do with the action. High arm action. Uh, nice pivot. Everything what you call in those coaching books. San Sanjay Darvi. Putting, executing everything. Nice, beautiful action. Nice revolutions on the ball. Preet gets a single. Chetan has run well today. Within no time he has reached 36. 36 of just 25 balls. That is good batsmanship. Strike rate of almost 125. Which is great going. On a smallish total. He has not got 1, not 2, but 7 boundaries. He is a boundary hitter. And not all slogs. All finesse, all artistry in his shots. Very rarely will you find him going for those muscle shots or the shots played with a lot of power. Instead, he believes in timing the ball, placing the ball in the gaps and playing his shots using his wrists. This time, he goes for the other way. He tries to dig it out. CK has run well. Pull, he may hide pull his hamstring as well. In such heat and humidity, they should be careful. They should be keeping themselves hydrated actually. That's the key. And remember these guys are not in their early 20s or not even teenagers. Not even like uh, late 20s. But these guys, most of them are 40 plus. 
and they are running so very well. It's a 40 plus 2.0. Zuta presents 40 plus 2.0. And Preet has played everything all along the carpet in the last seven shots which he has played. He has looked more assured, even than even better than CK at times now in the last seven eight balls. Both very focused batsmen. Chetan Kapoor taking his chances. Preet trying to be managing to hold one end. His sweep will come in now. Instead, he goes for a slash, and that's good work there by the fielder. Nice shot, good use of the footwork. It's not always dancing down the ground, but going backwards and uh, slashing the ball over there, that needs some good footwork. And that was in indeed some deft footwork by CK. Unfortunately, the ball straight to the fielder over there. Will he go for that sweep or paddle shot now? Instead, he goes into... What a shot! This is a cracker. The fielder would be very doing very well to stop this one. He does a good job over there. And running between the wickets, this time, not so good. And that's what he does. This might be last ball of the over. That's what CK does. Very, very selfish when it comes to keeping strike. Eight overs, sixty-one runs. Eight overs, sixty-one. Scoring is great. They are chasing down this one methodically, but few good overs. Ace cricket might just come back into this one. They need a couple of overs in which they get one or two quick wickets. It's a funny old game. Cricketing match can open up any time. Oh, this is the opening maybe they were looking out for. He has to take this one. Oh, he drops it. Should have taken that. Satish creating a chance of the very first ball he bowled. He is, was the man who got his innings together and got his team to a good total. Oh, he did everything right but to hold on to that one. Live to Chetan, Preet is 19 of 20. Preet has looked more assured in the last 7-8 singles which he has taken. He has hit every ball along the carpet.
looking at the fielders where two fielders are there behind point you might just look to chop one and uh, get boundary past them the two fielders very close to each other kayor now being moved now in a very different position he gets everything on right on the offside and bowls the ball on the leg side had got took a lot of time to get the field rightly set on the offside bowled a ball down the leg side chetan kapoor this is where he gets fidgety at times he loses his wicket let's see whether he gets his 50 beautifully bowled he understands now just after getting a chance a reprieve you need to stay calm down you should not be going for those big shots immediately after you are being dropped so that's good batting it's a good focus shown there by chetan 39 of 30 the scoring is good i that's a class shot on the knees and down the ground this is a class shot this is not easy to hit a spinner down there. that ball was on the rise and he hit it on his knees and a very unique technique he has he slogs from mid wicket to square leg and now this one down the ground on the knees very special shot just a few feet away from that boundary He's on forty-three. Oh, he's so smart. Anything towards his right and left would have got him a boundary. That's what he does. He plays those plaidle shots even in between. So his innings, you can see shots all round. The area on point or maybe into the covers. These are not his fancied areas. Predominantly a leg side player, Chetan can play all around the ground. He can play those. cut shots even satish that was sliding down and of the bat as well that's what the um umpire says big inside edge umpiring has been good the officials have done a good job but chetan and preet have done an exceptional job of getting almost half the run chopped off in the ninth over current run rate is 7.9 to the required run rate is just around 7 runs per over Oh, this is what he does so very well. Seventy-one for no loss at the end of over number nine. Eleven overs remaining in which to get those seventy-nine runs. Oh, that is played with soft hands. Forty-six is what Chetan Kapoor is on. Preet, twenty of twenty-one. Preet has managed to get only one boundary, but he's doing a good job. It's not always what your individual score is. Look at the partnership. He has done a good job. He has just got twenty-one balls, so only forty percent of the strike with him. Yeah, he just asked Chetan to move away, just so that he has the view of the bowler, and also he has to hit the ball down the ground. Maybe that's the reason. He might hit it just down the ground again. Beautifully ball, Sanjay Dalvi, bowling the ball with a lot of precision.
72 or 56. That's what the partnership reads now. Oh, that's a nice hit. No one's going to stop this one. This will race away for a very, very good boundary from Preet. That's the second one of his, but this was with a lot of authority. Uh, and some nice hit. A compact batsman now coming into his own. 76 is what the score is. Now half the runs chopped off. Almost half the overs are also done. Three balls remaining in this over. They need 73 more. Halfway through, just cricket would be just happy. Oh, that is hammered down the ground just for a single. CK is one hit away from his half century. They have already got a boundary in this over, so I don't think he would be going for that big shot. Instead, he would look out for the singles and doubles. 72 more needed. CK on 46. Five matches I have seen him playing. He has got 50s four times in different grounds of Mumbai. Oh, that's what. He understands Sanjay is a good bowler. He is bowling well. They have got the boundary against him. In spite of conceding that boundary, he has some fantastic figures to show. Two overs and just 10 runs. That's good bowling. Oh, that's a slog again. That's what he does on his knees. Hammers them. Just for a single. The score at the end of 4, number 10 is 78. CK taking the single of the last ball every possible time.
So 10 overs and 78 runs is what they have managed and they just need 71 runs in the next 10 overs. No need to be a mathematician or a max expert to tell you this. They need just 7.1 runs per over in the next 10 overs. It was Rahul who started off the innings with the ball in hand. It is Hui who is going to start off the 11th over, the second half of the second innings. CK is on 47, Preet on 25. He won't be giving it away now. He'll get his half century quietly and then maybe look on for a few more runs. But one man who can change this, he can pick a few wickets, it's Rahul. 2 and 12 runs. The fielding wasn't that great on his bowling. Oh, what kind of shot that was. That was so very risky. He tried it all along the whole innings. Five times at least. This time he was successful. Yeah. It's a combination of paddle and nutraj. Everything put together. 50 for CK. It was a mixture of Sachin's paddle shot and uh, Kapil Dev's nutraj shot. That's what... Uh, his mate Javed is telling that was an atrash shot. That, look at that shot. On his leg. Oh. He wanted to play it all along the 10 overs at least 5 times. This time he was successful and he was successful when it mattered the most. Take my word, the next ball he's going to go for a big one. He's on 51. Oh, that's a good shot. Straight to the field. That's the only area probably where he hasn't scored a boundary. Every other place he has got a boundary except for extra cover. He has played really well. Got most of his boundary right from square leg to the mid wicket. Got one boundary over point. He got one down the ground. Only area where he hasn't, hasn't scored is in the third man. And also in extra cover. Other than that, this guy has played all around the ground. Almost 270, 280 degrees. And one man who is quietly... Getting away with this game is Preet. 25 of 24. Started off streakishly. Got some edgy boundaries. A boundary and a 3 for. Then a good shot. I think he will go again for his big shots. Oh, that's a cracking shot. That's a great shot. In fact, that is shot of the night for me. Cracking cover drive. Preet. Last 10 shot of his. He has looked more assured even than Chetan. Tall man. This is nicely done. Beautiful cover drive. Always graceful to watch when we see those cover drives. Racing away towards the extra cover region for a very, very well hit. Every time I say this because one shot out of none other. This has not been the match where we have seen a lot of good shots. But a steady innings. A steady innings of a kind where they are going methodically, clinically towards their target. 87 is what they have managed in 10.3. They need... Just 62 now. But things can change if they manage to get few wickets. Oh, this is nicely done. Full toss. Taken full toll. And boundary followed by a boundary. That's what I was saying. Spreet is looking much more assured than CK even. Last 10-12 shot of his have been more assuring. Who was taking a back seat right now. Is taking things on his own hands now. He's 33 of 26. Just imagine he was 17 of 17. And last few shots, he is changing gears. He hit a beautiful cover drive, then a sweep towards the square leg. I think he would go down the ground now. Against a good bowler. Rahul is no mean bowler. He's a good bowler. Oh, nicely done using the soft hands. CK, look at him rush. This is brilliant running. I haven't seen him rush or run so quickly in the past few games. He pulled up his hamstring in one of the tournaments in the finals and his team was in a spot of bother. Nicely bowled that. That is why I say Rahul is a very good bowler. And that was just brilliant running by CK. Some crazy running. Remember, these guys are not no more in their 20s. Not even their late 20s. Not even the early 30s. These are 40 plus players. <laughs> 52 of 38. 
34 of 27 not much they need now not many in fact just 57 and 55 in fact it has come down to run a ball now which makes it relatively easier score remains on 92 at the end of over number 11 very very fruitful over in which one two three boundaries were scored one from chetan and two from preet they are in a very very commanding position next nine overs they need just 57 that's what the equation reads on your screen 57 of 54 first two matches were brilliant they were uh, very very competitive this match just cricket have been just good enough against ace cricket who are a good team but just cricket have been methodical both with bat and ball in hand some taken some good catches good fielding and uh, they have batted brilliantly but they haven't done anything exceptional they have played some good shots especially chetan who took some chances and uh, on his knees, he has swept almost everywhere, right from backward square leg to the cow corner. Also, one good shot into the covers, one good hit down the ground. A great batting by the right-hander. But for me, the next few overs are going to be of this man on your screen. Preet, left-hander, who's looking some good nick. Like last 10 balls, he has been more authoritative, more convincing than even CK. Looks focused for his half century as well. 34 of 27. Last 10 balls, he has scored 18 runs in just 10 balls. Two boundaries in the previous over. That's what I was talking about, Preet. He is, looks more assured. CK just walks the single this time. If it's the last ball, CK just drashes off to take strike. So the pass search over in progress. Yeah, the first over was good in which oh, that was an opportunity created. Confusion. Is CK out? He was living on the edge. He is, remains there to survive. He does not want to give his wicket away. He will do everything for it. Just wants to stay there. Just hates to give his wicket away. That was twice into, like, that was good try. Should have been caught and uh, close to getting run out as well. Just got in back in nick of time. CK twice in a ball. Getting live. First being dropped, the second ball. The second attempt in the same ball, in fact, close to being run out. Uh, that's what he does. This is... He put everything into it. It did not go for all the way, but a boundary. That was a big slog, I would say. Just see, look at him. Just put everything into it. Uh, that's a very good boundary. The score is 97 now. 97 in 11.3. CK on strike again. Oh, this is the first wicket, I think. Yes, it is. CK, after a good innings, gets out. The first wicket down on the score of 97.
gets standing evolution from his fielder. They are very happy with this performance. 50 again for this guy. Five matches I have seen him play. And he has six matches now. And he has scored five fifties in a row. So Preet looks assured and uh, gets a single. CK has done his job. This has been a wonderful Wednesday for him. He would be happy with this outing. 98 for 1. In fact, 99 for 1 now. 98 for 1. Last ball of the 12th over. Sanjay Darvi. He looked very good. All throughout, he was the one who looked to get wicket of every ball he has bowled. Bowled very, very well and he got the reward for some good bowling. He inspired, I think he would get one more even. Jitendra, he's a good batsman. Oh. His score at the end of over number 12 is 98 for the loss of one wicket. The equation is quite simple now. They just need 51. 51 in the remaining 48 balls. Run rate of almost 6 runs per over. 6.15. Satish comes in who bowled, batted really well. In fact, he was the man who got the innings resurrected. 31 in just 22. 33 in just 21. And uh, looked to get the wicket of the very first ball in which he bowled, in which CK was dropped. Things would have been different, but after that, CK went on an overdrive and got his 50. And Preet, he looks all set to get the second 50 of the innings. He's on 36 of 29. He looks very assured. He does not want to give it. Generally, it happens in a partnership. With one partner departs, the other partner just follows him. But Preet looks determined to get his 50. He just done that all day. Just some good bowlers. Unfortunately, they could not get a good total. 160, 170 would have uh, been uh, really challenging, but they have some got some good set of bowlers, and they would have uh, held held on to their chances. Things would have been different by now. But they have Javed also, who is a good batsman. Jitendra is also a pretty handy batsman. He is a good player. Oh, that is nicely bowled. Yogged him. A good all-rounder Satish proving his worth. He has injured his index finger. Still bowling well. Batted well with that injured finger. That's nicely done. Using the wrist.
100 up for the team. They need 49. Forty-five balls in which to get those forty-nine runs. Preet is on thirty-seven. He might go for a big one. Yes, he does, but isn't successful. Yeah, Preet, that's a good call from Preet. He had to go to the danger end, so he had to give that call. Preet is on thirty-eight. Jitendra is one. He's a pretty handy batsman, very compact looking batsman, Jitendra. Oh, this is delicately done. Kyu over there. 102 for one. Last ball of Satish's over. He's bowled well. Hasn't had wickets against his column. CK was dropped with the very first ball he bowled. Preet, I think. You just take a single and keep strike. Goes into the covers instead. The ball is racing towards that boundary. That's a very, very well executed cover drive. Four runs. Uh, some classical batting by the left-hander now. 42 for him in just 32 balls. They need 43 more. 43 in the remaining 42 balls. Yeah, 42 in 32 is what Preet has done. Chitendra is on strike. He might just be looking for his first boundary. Uh, that's nicely bold. He wanted to cut. The idea was right. The ball remains slightly low. But for... Uh, Ace Cricket, he is the bowler of the day for me. Rahul is a pretty good bowler. It wasn't his day today. But Sanjay has bowled so very well. In fact, one of the better bowlers putting both the teams together. Uh, alongside Vikas, I'm talking. Vikas is an exception. Oh, this is very close. This is very close. Very, very fortunate. Only thing is, maybe just sit outside the off and he was on the front foot. But that was going towards that middle stump. Very close. Very close. That is off the bat, he says. That was so very close. Probably that's the only reason that could have saved him. An inside edge. This is good battle now. Good battle within this match. Match is done and dusted, but batsman was look assured in the last 15-16 balls he has scored 28 runs. And against a bowler who has bowled really well. Any bowler after Vikas, this man has put up a good show. Oh, that's a great shot. That's a great shot. Coming into the position, getting into the position, and hitting a very, very good shot. Swiveled backwards and hit a fantastic shot. He wasn't in a position to play that shot because the ball just hurried. And that was well bowled, in fact. But he managed to get this footwork, went back and across and hit it off his hips for a boundary. The score is Nelson for one now. One, one, one for one. Unique scoreboard it looks now. 111 for 1. Preet is on 40. One shot away from a 50. Oh, that's straight down there. Will that be the 50 for him? Yes, it will race away. That would be 50 for Preet. Gorgeous shot. That is one of the best shots of the night. Just, just pushed it. Front foot defensive shot. Going for a boundary. It's 50 for him. And 50 faster than even Seke. 
yes god is 50 faster even than ck 17 of 17 he was and in the last 17 balls he has scored 33 so last 17 balls his strike rate from 100 has gone to 200 and his overall strike rate is almost 150 now good crazy batting yeah 147 is strike rate to be precise good batting class batting ck just played a brilliant innings but preet in his last half maybe that 17 to 50 was brilliant so two batsmen do the opening batsmen getting the 50s and they are just 33 runs away now sanjay who had bowled so very well taken off for two good boundaries last ball will he get the second wicket jitendra is a very compact batsman and that's what he does easily end of the 14 overs the score will go on to 117 32 needed in the remaining 36 balls Six overs and thirty-two runs to win. Samir. It would be Samir has bowled well. Well, Jitendra might just open his arms now. He will just feel to enjoy and have some fun now. Yes, got four of seven. I think this over he might just open his arms. Samir comes in. That's what I was talking about. Hundred and eighteen. The wicket keeper still egging the bowler, encouraging him. That's what they should be doing. Put your chin up. Don't let those shoulders drop. Oh, that's a. Uh, he did everything right over there. Did everything right. Uh, Pre just surviving. He did everything right. He's a good fielder. Generally takes hold on, holds on to that catch. The ball just popped out at the last moment. is rubbing salt to the injury One, two, three, four, one, fourteen point three. Oh, that was an inside edge. The ball is racing towards the fine leg. 
124 now 124 for one Twenty five runs needed in the thirty two balls. I think Preet is going to go hammer and tongs in every ball. He's not going to take a backward step. Ankit will still get a chance to get one more catch. Oh what a catch! What a catch! Is that taken? That is dropped. I almost thought he took that one. He did everything right. Almost held on to that one. That would have been one of the catches of the tournament. That was it so very hard. Uh, Preet hitting, banging it down the ground. In fact, the upper part of the... And he did everything right. Ball just popped out at the last moment. This guy is going to have fun now. Oh, three times lucky. Not once, not twice. Three times lucky is Preet. So, Preet is making every effort to get out now. He's on 54. Score is 126. Me call. Ka Hundred and twenty-six is what the score is. It remains on hundred and twenty-six. Satish has had a good night. He has played well. And, uh, he wanted to go for that big booming cover drive. The ball is outside the off stump. His ball two back-to-back -back dot deliveries. I think this third one is going to go towards the boundary. That's what Jitendra would try and do. Maybe down the ground. Instead, he cuts it fiercely. The ball is racing towards the point fielder. Just for a single. The sweeper does the job. The score moves on to 128 now. In, on 27 now. 127. In fact, three balls remaining. And the next three balls, Preet will try and hammer each one of them. He looks in a hurry to finish off this one. Just a formality remaining now. The very, very convincing performance by just cricket is a good set of players today just cricket was just far too better than them 
Zuta's presence, 40 plus 2.0, some good batting, good bowling, some good catches. One of the better catches. Go and see Ravindra's catch. A oh, this is nicely done. Delicate, delicate. He had very little space to work between the fielder and uh, the short third man over there. Look at that. Nicely done. Yeah, that's a beautifully played shot. Uh, that was a fantastic shot. Bit of artistry. 131. Course. 58 for Preet. Yes, sir. Pras Chetan even. Some of them, they must be laughing at me when I was saying he looks more assured than Chetan. Score at the end of 16 overs is 132 for 1. And Preeth has proved my judgment right at least for a change. He has played well. So, Mr. Shah would bowl the last over of his spell. He has bowled well along with uh, Digvijay. In fact, uh, Sanjay Dalvi. Sanjay Dalvi bowled well, but he was taken for runs by Preet. Some, in fact, three chances of three consecutive balls for Preet. He was so very lucky. Fortune favoring the brave, they say. 17 needed. Left-hander would like to finish off this in the next two overs. But Amir is not giving it away. He is fighting. Getting his field absolutely right. Three fielders behind point. In fact, two fielders behind point. And he puts it into the cow corner. He will it race away towards the boundary. No. Just a single. This is poor running. Yeah. That's a single with this. The equation. 16 needed now of 23. What do you, Jitendra? You have your day. You go for those big shots. And he would be going for his shots. Take my word, Jitendra will not take a backward step. He would go for the big ones. Some big hitters in the wing. There was Pichai. There was Javed. Nobody would get an opportunity. But they would be just racing towards the wicket if they... Wicket falls over there. Just get those 13 14 runs. Preet and CK haven't given any opportunity for the other batsmen to come in. In fact, Jitendra is fortunate to face 13 deliveries. Yes, that's what it does. He goes up and over. There's an opportunity. dropping his third catch. A quicker one that is nicely bold, and he gets his man. And 
of just Sixteen point four. This remain. Amit comes in the new man. Amit getting a just reward for his good bowling. Sanjay bowled well. Sanjay Dalvi. Samir Shah, look at his focus. The team is on back foot. There is that absolutely no hope of coming back from here, but he still. Believes, that's the biggest word, believes that he can get wickets. Postpone this, in fact, create that small opening. It's almost done and dusted, 15 of 20 is very, very easy. Let's see what Samir can do. Samir can get a, a wicket more in the winning two balls. Twenty-three for one is figures read in 3.5 overs. Last ball. Of Samir Shah's fantastic spell. Look at him. Look at the confidence on his face. Oh, that is nicely flighted. That was opportunity. The batsman missed. The Kayur is racing towards to stop this one. Oh, great. This is good. This is good spirit shown. Yeah, that's what we play cricket for. Not give up. Good to see that. Good to see. Great to see. Game. For catches
16 balls for the cricket. Would take 15 balls for the cricket. For granted, then. Done and done. Bold well. Rahul has played three bold, three good balls. Take four in a row. It was just now. I suppose yes. Fourteen balls, fourteen runs. Four dot balls in a row. Oh, five dot balls in a row. Third. Thirteen balls and fourteen runs to win. Oh that's a good shot that's that's a stress buster is that a catch is that a catch this is turning on its head now 136 is what they have got they need 13 in the next 12 yeah one more wicket down 12 balls 13 runs to win Preet was heading homewards. Now he has to wait for a couple of overs more. Now, one run and wicket. So things have changed. It was a glimmer of hope. That's what cricket is. Funnier things have happened. Remember, Pakistan Super League semi-final. Asif Ali batting eight ball eight runs. They lost by six runs. Things can change. They had the best finisher, Asif Ali, eight ball eight runs. They were not able to chase down. So for the very first time in space of 10 overs, the number of runs are more than the number of balls remaining. That last, Samir Shah was taking a lot of time to get his field set when the equation read 24 balls and 18 runs. He took, bowled a really good over. After that, an over in which Rahul just gave away a single. And all of a sudden, the man which was looking all mundane, all one-sided, has got a slight twist now. What does the equation say? 12 balls, 13 runs to win. This is the match which will make up this one. Right now, just cricket are ninety percent to win this one. Just five to ten percent chance for which is good. Over can change this one. They dropped so many catches. All of a sudden, two new batsmen, Javed. And Datta. Oh, this is interesting now. 11 balls, 13 runs to win. And things can change. Things can change. Satish, his bowling spree is smart over there. He's not trying to turn the ball. He's trying to keep it just tight. Oh, this is so very interesting now. 10 balls, 13 runs. And just when you say things are over, Never say ne over until it is completely over. Not until the f fat lady sings, they say. 10 balls, 13 runs. Suddenly, the team fielding would be feeling that they can win this one. Oh, they can definitely win this one now. 9 balls, 13 runs. Now the tables have changed. Now it is 75-25. In fact, 60-40 now. 60-40. The match which was looking only 5% for the fielding team. All of a sudden in the last few overs, courtesy Samir Shah's bowling and also Rahul's bowling, 
9 balls, 13. I think this next ball, Javed will go for a big one and that will seal the deal. 1 6 and it would be done. But he's bowling smartly. He's bowling those quick balls outside the off stump and taking it away. He would go down the ground, I feel. That's what he's trying. Oh, this is so very interesting now. It was 13 runs. Preet, who was homing headwards, had to stay him now. Now, this has completed. Now, the bowling team has become favorite all of a sudden. 8 balls, 13 runs to win. This is strange batting. And... That is what Samir was doing. Samir, when he was bowling that 17th over, he was taking a lot of time to adjust his field. Everybody was looking at him. What was he doing? And he bowled a brilliant over. He bowled a brilliant over, did Samir Shah. His last over was excellent, in fact, in which he took a wicket. Also just conceded a couple of runs. The next over, Rahul bowled a good over in which he just gave away a single. All of a sudden, as we were just disappointed that this match is a completely one-sided affair, 40 plus lives up to his expectations. Less like the first two matches. This is going down the wire. In fact, supporters would be willing to be on the fielding team side now. Just cricket is just disappointed with their performance in the last few overs. But still, I feel one shot and things will just get eased out. 8 balls, 13 runs to 22 pounds. Two bad balls. In fact, they should convert a good ball into a boundary ball. But that's hammered down. They need a connection. After a long time, some connection between bat and ball. In fact, last eight balls have been dot deliveries. Seven balls, 12 runs. One hit away to win this one. by ace cricket team this is one of very very uh, Datta is a good guy in this. they should run hard and all those just remember Keur when he was running towards that boundary to stop that boundary his effort would have just got them back into this one so 11 needed of 5 6 balls just And Javid wanted to go for a big one. The ball came towards that fine leg boundary. Everybody just stopped over. They thought it would go for a KU ran all the way to stop that one. Just gave away a single. And after that, it has been all downslide. Now the singles which they have refused. The couple of runs which they did not take. Will that get them into trouble now? Six balls, 11 runs to win. Who ran all the way to the boundary to stop that one. Just gave away a single. Will he be the man of the day? Six balls, seven minutes. So the match which was turning out to be a single one-sided affair, should have been finished in 17th or 18th over, has gone all the way to the last over. And all of a sudden, ace cricket clubs are the favourites to win this one now. 11 of last six balls. The fancy to be in the fielding side. Six balls, 11 runs. But Datta is a smart guy. He can get those runs. Yeah, Datta and Vijay are the ideal two batsmen to be on strike at this stage of time. Datta is a very... Good player who can get those singles and doubles, can get those boundaries. And Vijay Singh, he can easily clear the boundaries, not by one or two yards, but can complete it by 10 yards as well. It's taking a lot of time to get the field set. It was Samir Shah who instilled that belief that they can take this deep. And after that, Rahul's over. And after that, Satish is over. Ideal guy on this stage is Vijay Singh. I have seen him hammering those big shots in different grounds of Mumbai. And Vijay Singh, 
even if it is two balls 12 runs he has the capacity to clear the ground very strong tall guy easily the tallest guy vijay singh the strongest one and and datta was brilliant behind the stumps all of a sudden a very dull looking match turning out to be a cliffhanger six balls 11 runs datta and vijay both ideal batsmen to be there on this stage of the match oh that's a good shot into the cow corner region yeah vijay would not like to give away strike because he can finish this off in two balls that kind of a batsman is five balls 10 runs wardox fight back this has been what would be the result of the match samir shah's team rahul's team digvijay sorry sanjay's team have to be applauded for their effort especially the man who fielded well they have dropped a lot of catches five balls 10 runs vijay singh on strike five balls 10 runs to win i think vijay would just clear this maybe into the mid wicket reach that's nicely hit they would be going that tai is just racing for the second one yeah this is good running this is he should have gone and sacrifice his wicket he should have given strike to vijay five or four balls nine runs to win yeah ace cricket club would be the happier side now in fact they are favorites to win this one 70% now if they lose from here that's not going to be good ace cricket have to win this one because 90% of the time the fielding team wins this one but the batsman two best batsman for this stage datta and vijay vijay might just this would be the day for him maybe last ball sixer to finish it off let's see four balls nine runs to win an inside edge maybe a slash over point maybe a good pull shot let's see datta can get those cheeky shots in and vijay can give you those big shots it's a good combination to have this is turning out to be a thriller on a wonderful wednesday oh that's for tutors they need a lot of fortune now yeah three balls and eight runs it comes down to one big hit now they cannot win this one without a sixer or a boundary in fact you need two boundaries and one sixer two boundaries or a sixer three balls eight runs i think vijay singh might just win it for them three balls eight to win but that was so close that was outside the off stump two balls eight to win two balls who would have imagined this match he came in he came in just in time came in just in time that was a good decision he came in just in time two balls eight runs to win boundary of this wood ball would make things very interesting two balls eight runs to win with chasing on strike this is so very interesting that hammer they need a couple minimum they need to go for that one and why are they just yeah datta has to gun yeah one ball seven runs to win out of nowhere they all set to win this one only they cannot lose from here unless they bowl an extra ball the just cricket are just stunned this is what cricket is you cannot take anything for granted ck and preet did everything right they refused a lot of doubles they did not run for the ball which was towards that boundary One ball, seven runs to win. Rabindra cannot believe his team has 
slipped this one away from their hands. Remember, they just needed 15 in four overs. It was Samir Shah who was getting the field right. He was believing that this would go deep in. One ball, seven runs to win. If they ball a legitimate delivery, they cannot. Kyur would be so happy. Remember, he was the one who chased down that ball. Vijay Singh. Will he get a point for his team? Vijay Singh might just... But hats off to Kyur. Hats off to Samir. Hats off to Sanjay Darby. Believing. And Satish, his contribution was goldest. Especially over number 17, 18 and 19 was just brilliant. One ball, seven runs to win. They would be just jumping up and down if they win this one, the fielding team. Just cricket, this would be a very tough lesson, a very big defeat for them to digest. But still, for that to happen, they need to get past Vijay Singh. When uh, 18 balls, 14 runs were needed, they were going for this big shot. Was that needed? They would have just played some sensible cricket. This is the longest one ball I have seen for a long, long time. One ball, seven runs to win. Oh, that is it down the ground. Will that be point? One point. No. Oh, they win this one by six runs. Look at them. That's what I was talking about. They would be jumping like teenagers. They would be jumping like schoolboys. And they would remember and cherish this victory. And just underlying statement, it is never over until it is over. Until the fat lady sings. Just in game of cricket or in life, do not take things lightly until you finish off the job. This is a very hard pill to digest for them. This can happen. This has to be a reminder for them that do not take things lightly. But a good side beaten by their own little hitback. But look at them. This would keep that belief strongly in them. 40 plus. The match was seemed to be, to be very very one sided one. It has the thriller of the night. That's a very, very good match and uh, Ravindra would not be happy.